Today, Governor Tony Evers announced $1 million for the state's teacher training and recruitment program. It comes at a time when teachers are in short supply. But as Stephanie Haynes reports, a local university is trying to change that. Madeline McKinstry is studying to be a teacher. She's getting some hands-on experience at St. John Lutheran School in her hometown, West Bend. I wanted to become a teacher mostly because of my kids. At first, that was the main reason why, um, because I loved teaching them. Madeline has two kids with one on the way. She works full time and her husband is also in school. Fitting in time to go back to school herself seemed impossible until she started a new program at Concordia University. I had to be online. I can't go in person with my schedule. So when I saw that three year program, I was like, this is perfect timing. Concordia recently got approval from the State Department of Public Instruction to offer a three year bachelor's degree in elementary education. It's all online and student teaching can be done anywhere. And you just mentioned we're seeing a lot of need for this. Oh. Absolutely. Literally 30 minutes before we began speaking, I had somebody call me from a nearby district saying we are in desperate need of a social studies teacher. Do you have one? Um, we get those phone calls every single day. A recent report from the Wisconsin Policy Forum shows bachelor's degrees in education went down nearly 20% from 2011 to 2019. It says the State Department of Workforce Development projects more than 2,500 preschool and K through 12 open teaching positions each year from 2018 to 2028 in southeast Wisconsin. There are way more openings in schools for teachers than there are teachers being prepared. And so as we think through how can we help with that, that's what these programs are. Madeline is scheduled to graduate in spring 2023. That's when she hopes she can get a classroom of her own. Once I started the program, I realized how much of a difference I wanted to make in children's lives. In West Bend, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.